Welcome to part 2 of the Jazz Jackrabbit Let's Play. We're about to approach 2 Electric. Actually, one of my this is my favorite stage in this episode. And immediately you want to go here and hold left so you can get this shield. Um, what I forgot to mention in the last part actually is that Hip Hop and the shields um, actually carry over to the next level. So if you get one in the previous level, you won't lose them by the next level. And uh, we've just collected our, I think, fourth ammo type, the bouncer. Um, I'd like to talk about that a little bit more, but uh, we're not gonna use that anytime soon, actually. Or, um, well, we're gonna use that, but later on, so I'll talk about it when we get to it. And this is the... What we just picked up was the fast fire, that was what I meant at, like, I think it was near the end of the last part. Uh, but yeah. What I didn't even, if you lean to the right here, you can get this one up. Uh, it's only a one and done <laughs> kind of pickup because uh, these tubes are automated, you cannot go back. But yeah, these enemies here, I think they're called sparks, I'm not sure. In the first game, the enemies don't really have names. Um, I only know the names, I think, from the second game because the second game comes with an editor. Uh, level editor and you can make your own levels but then the enemies have names obviously so you'd know which enemies to put in what stage but yeah but I didn't even get a chance to talk about the music in the last part Jesus Christ this is an amazing this game has an amazing soundtrack it's composed by Robert A. Allen I think the out of the top of my head the only other game um, I can name that he worked on was Epic Pinball, which actually I love that soundtrack as well. It's you can hear you can hear when you play Epic Pinball, you can hear that it's the same creator um, of Jazz Jackrabbit. Well, composer I should say, not really creator. And this here, this drop, that's actually kind of a dick drop if you're going for perfect run, because in this stage, the stage collectible is the graphics gamepad or like mini gamepads um, the thing is with that drop earlier um, you only have one chance to get all of them in that drop and sometimes you will miss one and that means uh, you instantly won't get the 100% the perfect run uh, something I didn't even mention in the last part is actually the carrots that we're collecting is to replenish your health but we didn't take any damage I believe so we never had to replenish our health so you never got to see that I think we're like I think we have like about four hits maybe five I, I'm not for sure I don't know for sure but uh, I think it's about four to five hits and then you die but we grab the shield so we have the extra hit and usually we have a hip hop so that means another extra hit now, what I will show off in uh, this part is the bonus levels. Every second level of a planet has a bonus gem hidden somewhere. And um, when collected, if you do not die and you manage to get to the end with the bonus gem, you just uh, you, you go to a bonus level. It's actually this uh, 3D bonus level, or sort of 3D, it's like 360 degrees, kind of. It's all 3D. But um, we'll get to that when we get to that. I love this section here. Uh, we're, we're collecting little chips. Computer chips, I guess. I don't know exactly what those are. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to call them computer chips. That's the stage collectible for this stage. Uh, earlier, we were collecting gamepads as well. It, a stage can have multiple uh, stage collectibles, I guess. Now, funny thing about the graphics gamepad is that's actually one of the first PC gamepads, I believe. And Jazz was promoting it. I think they had like a partnership, maybe? I don't know. Because you can order one. If you go to the order info in this game, you can get a uh, graphics gamepad for like $25, I think. Um, I actually own one. 
and it's actually pretty fun to use, uh, especially with this game. It doesn't have shoulder buttons, that's the only do downside for me, but it basically looks like a... It basically looks like a SNES, like a European, or I should say PAL, a PAL SNES controller. And uh, here's where you're gonna start using the bouncer, because it's exactly... Or actually, in the second game, it's called the bouncer. In this game, it's called the launcher, I guess. Um, it does exactly what the name in the second game, I guess, says it, it is. You know, it bounces around. But it's especially useful for uh, enemies that are beneath you. Because Jazz can only shoot left and right. He doesn't shoot up, doesn't shoot down. You can crouch shoot, I guess. But he only shoots left and right. So when you have enemies beneath you, the bouncer is extremely useful and you can just mash it and just run with it goes really fast but yeah the uh, graphics gamepad is actually a pretty great controller um it had it had this like you had to screw you could screw on like a stick so that would make it like a, a joystick i guess and i think i think because I had another game that came with the graphics gamepad. I think it was called Descent. Yeah, I think it was called Descent. It's like a old shooter on DOS. It's actually pretty fun. But yeah, it's a pretty good controller. Um, it's really hard because the controller uses a 15-pin um, game port, actually. It doesn't use USB, so I had to buy a converter for it to work. But yeah, that's the bonus gem, that red gem we've just collected. And... Um, I don't think I'll get I'm getting the 100% on this. I never get the 100% item uh, completion in this stage. I don't know why, I don't know how. I just always miss I think this is like about one item. It's one item that I'm missing. One stage collectible that I missed. But yeah, the level's clear and uh, now you get to do the bonus level. So, these are uh, the bonus levels from Jazz Jack Rabbit. Uh, it's a fun little bonus level. You have to collect a certain amount of blue gems and you just get an extra life. That's it. No um, seven chaos emeralds to get super jazz. Thank god there is no super jazz. It's just I said certain amount because it differs per bonus level. Sometimes it's 30, sometimes it's 15, sometimes it's 40. It even goes up to 50 I think. And it's not always the same, like the layout will change, um, different backgrounds, I guess. You don't want to touch the exit signs. The exit signs is like, it takes you immediately out, so you won't get the bonus, you won't get the 1-up. And uh, you can, if you press space, you actually do a roll. Think of it as like a boost, and... Uh, yeah, you can, you can roll really fast, but it's also really dangerous to use because you can roll into a exit sign and that will take you immediately out. It's kind of dickish. It sometimes happens to me. It won't happen in this run uh, because I made, <laughs> I made sure that I will uh, not fail at any of these bonus levels. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this part. And... Um, I'll see you guys next time for May Defo and, and the episode. See you guys then.